Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Subnautica. I would like very much today to build not only the moon pool and the prawn suit, but also the absolutely awesome cyclops to go with it all. I want all of it. I want all the toys. I want everything today. I want to build a whole lot. And then we can start having a look around and see if we can find some of these other bits and pieces. There are a few of them that we need to get. We've got the proposed Degassi habitat down there, 500 meters below surface. Uh, there's the island over there. We've got uh, that one over there is the... What is that one? That one is uh, Life Pod 12. Uh, we've got the, the alien sea moth. Um, Life Pod 2 over there. Life Pod 4 is one that we haven't found yet, I believe. Or have we found it now? Um, the Blueprints, Advanced Theory, Survival, Indigenous, uh, Data Downloads. There we go. Codes and Clues. Life pod 4 transmission, a distress signal has been received from life pod 4. The attached coordinates were corrupted, last available photographic evidence is downloaded and analyzed. Flotation device is active, life pod act located at sea level. Pod is close proximity to radioactive fallout from Aurora. Transmission origin approximately 150 meters northwest of Aurora's port midsection. 150 meters northwest, so that direction from Aurora's port midsection. Um, I don't know if we've actually found it. Which life pod were we? Because I don't remember what life pod we were. That's, that's one thing I want to just uh, have a look at a minute. Let's go up and have a look. What number were we? They've got the numbers on them. It's very, oh, we were life pod five. Right, so, yeah, number four is the one that we want to look at. And, um, I don't remember if we found it last time. I don't think we found it. So let's just go very quickly before we do anything else. I think we'll go. We'll go and see if we can find that one. Welcome aboard, um, Captain. What have I got? I haven't got a great deal on me, so that's that's fine. We can go. We want to go and find the Aurora, which is that way. You can't turn while you're in the air with this one. Who'd have thought it? Who'd have thunk it? So we'll go over this way. We want to go port midsection. That's where we want to go, which I think is that way. Um, and then we want to go northwest from there, which is in that direction, only 150 meters. I'm not sure if we've already found it. There is also a mushroom forest over this way as well. Oh no, we were exploring that one. There's another mushroom forest, which is over not that far from the island, I think. Um, so yeah, we, we've got that that we can go and look at as well at some point. I'm not going to worry about it today, though. Today is all about building the big toys, and then once we've built the big toys, then we can worry about um, making some serious progress. There are a few things that I would like to do to try and advance things along now. Um, we, we've got a number of different sort of targets and... Yeah! No! Oh! Oh, that absent... Oh, this game! This game terrifies me! Oh, that made me jump. That seriously made me jump big time, that did. Is there another one in there? No, I think I got them both here. Oh, that made me jump major big time, that did. <laughs> that was awful. Right, uh, I want to scan that. It's not letting me scan it. To sort of move. There we go, sulfur plant. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. There we go. So we've, we've, I'll get the cave sulfur from there. And I'll get the cave sulfur from that one there. Now, I want to have a look around and see if there's anything else. I, I jumped out here because I thought there would be some of these things to scan. But it doesn't look like any of them can be scanned, actually. I think I came down here for another... Oh, we got a uh, beacon. Oh, I've already got beacons. We will take up that fragment anyway. There's another beacon there. That it, oh, it's another... Yeah. A another fragment. But there's also another beacon. So there's nothing for us to concern ourselves with. Um, there's a limestone there. Oh, copper. Copper's good. We're going to need a bit of copper, actually, for our um, massive build that we're going to. There's another one there. Titanium we're also going to need, so we may as well just pick this up while we're here. Uh, inventory full already. That didn't take long. What have I got? What have I got? Uh, I could drink a bit of water. I have a great deal there, really. Okay, let's let's ignore it. We'll leave that. Um, let's, let's not absolutely terrify ourselves too frequently because I, I, yeah, I don't think my nerves can take it. My nerves are delicate. Right, port midsection. 150 meters northwest from the port midsection. So it's not actually very far. We do not have very far to go at all. It's gonna, it's around here somewhere. Now, where is it? Um, 
This is, well, I think Port Midsection is about here. So it's 150 meters northwest of the Port Midsection. It's noisy around here. There's noise going on. I can hear lots of noise. So northwest from the Port Midsection, it should be around here. Is that it? No. Nope. So yeah, that that would be is is, is port on the left hand. Uh, well, I'm assuming that port is on the left hand side because we need to go. If I'm sat on the Aurora, northwest is this way, uh, 150 meters. So it's got to be around here somewhere, because um, oh no, of course it that the, was the last like uh, location, but then it, it quite possibly sank. So it should be around here somewhere. Where are you? Are you out of the shallows? Is this 150 meters? I, I I struggle to tell distances in this game. I really do. Distances are difficult. We've got uh, we've got some table corals over there. I don't have any room to pick anything up, so I may have to dump some of the titanium. Um, is it around here? I think it's going to be very far away from this area. I'm really struggling to find this. I've been sort of backwards and forwards a couple of times. I'm also looking at the picture that I've seen, you know, that we've got with LifePod 4. But he's somewhere 150 meters out from the ship. Uh, northwest. Well, northwest is like straight out the side of the ship, pretty much. But it's getting 150 meters. This sand, this sand shark here. I got one sand shark. It keeps attacking me here. He's a savage brute. He really is. He's absolutely savage. He is. He keeps. He keeps sort of just randomly attacking my um, sea moth. And there's no need for it. There's absolutely no need for it. I, I don't feel it's a necessary thing for him to do. But uh, I, I tried explaining this to him, and he's, he's not listened to me. So, yeah, we will have to ignore him. I'm trying to find 150 meters out. What I think we'll need to do is we want to get a beacon, and we'll drop it down. And then we'll travel 150 meters away from the beacon. Maybe that will help. So we've been on this bit. This is a bit that we've done. And I'm just kind of traveling along the edge of this reef here. Oh, somebody said there was there was a thing that you could press that would tell you. Was it H? Hang on a minute. No, the, uh, maybe it wasn't H. F1. Yeah, look! Photo tour. Oh, hang on. World velocity. Ah, right. Um, so it's, it's kind of extra information that you can use. But, um, yeah, it would tell you what the, the, um, the biome that you're in. And I guess that would be, like, quite handy information to have if you could figure out the biome that you're in at times. Sometimes it would be incredibly useful information. Uh... Right, so far I still do not see any sign of a life pod. Let's go back. We'll go... Ooh, careful. I don't want to trash this one too badly. We're going to go back towards the Aurora. If I'm going in... The, I think I'm going in the right direction. Yep. Right, we're definitely in the wrong place here. So I want to head... It's the port midsection that we want to be at. Ooh, what's this? Is this anything? Uh, I think this is one that I've already explored. Pretty sure I have already explored this one. I've got... Oh, no. No, no. It's, um... Right, well, there's a bit of wreckage here. Is there... See, look. If I look up a minute... Now, that is the wrong place. I definitely don't want to... Uh, it's not here that I want to be. There, look. Origin approximately 150 meters northwest of the Aurora's port midsection. So I'm looking at this and I'm looking at the angle of that one so we can sort of see up there. I need to be this way more. Which makes me think that it's down in here somewhere. Somewhere down in this gully along here. Because I don't see it anywhere else. I've looked all. I've looked elsewhere. I've I've looked all around, and we sort of come out the end of this gully, and I don't see it here. Um, no, I don't see it down there. That can't be more than 150. I mean, maybe I'm maybe I'm 
got this wrong. Maybe I need to go further. But I don't have something that I can leave at the... Oh, actually, I do. There is there is one way that I can do this. I can go to the port midsection with my Seamoth. I can leave my Seamoth so long as I don't leave it down in the water. And then I can go 150 meters out and get a rough idea. I can use my Sea Glide to do it. So let's try that one. We'll, we'll bring this one in over here. I don't want to get too close. But the port midsection seems to be around about here somewhere. As long as I don't go too close to it, we'll move We'll move to about here, but we'll leave it there. Right. You stay there and don't do anything silly. We don't want to do it. We don't want anything silly to happen. Right, and now if I move over this way, I'm going to go 150 meters. Ooh. What's this? Open supply crate. Oh, we've got a first aid kit. I don't want a first aid kit. Um, I could do with some of the other stuff that's there. What's this? Sea glide fragment. 150 meters. Yes, I was right. It's in here. It's got to be somewhere in here. This is this is this is what it's got to be. It's somewhere in one of these caves. I just got to be careful that I don't meet one of those nasty crash things. What's that? Is it another creature egg. So somewhere in here, there's going to be one of those. There's going to be one of those crash fish. It is crash fish, isn't it? There's definitely going to be one of those in a minute. Right, that's 127 meters. I got another crate down here, look. So that is a battery. I could do a drinking some water. Let's do that in a minute. Just look around, make sure there's nothing that's uh, going to eat me. Um, drink a bit of water. And I suppose I could drink the other water. Let's drink, the, let's eat the nutrient block. Get that one out of the way. So I got a couple of spaces left at the moment. So we're good. Uh, that's a battery. I'm not, I don't really care about batteries now. I've got so many batteries, I don't need to worry about them. Right. Um, oh, there was something that I could scan then. I definitely had something come up on the scan. I don't know if it was a fish that went along in front of me. Uh, quite possibly it was. And there's nothing in there. 123 on the oxygen. Just keep looking around. It's, it's it must surely be in here. This this can this is the only place that I can think that it could be. There's nothing there. Going in a cave down here. Right, let's go and hover over the brain coral. That's um quite useful. This stuff. We'll reoxygenate a minute, and then we need to keep looking round. It's it's not there. That one's 80 meters away now. Um, we may be too close to the front of the ship. We might need to go a little bit further away. Right, let's go. Go over this way. Is there any more caves down this end of the, the sort of the tunnel thing? The cave here. There's nothing there. I don't see a life pod. Where is this life pod gone? 150 meters out. And now if I look over here, I am a good 200 meters away from the Seamoth. So somewhere around here, northwest of the port midsection, it's got to be around here somewhere. It's, it's got to be. It makes no logical sense for it not to be. But where it is, I don't know. And I don't think that we've got... I don't think we've found number four. Not 150 meters from Aurora. Life pod 12 over there. I'm very cautious of going over this way too much because of the whole, um, you know, massive thing that wants to eat us um, and has tried to on a number of occasions. It, it it does make me a little bit more nervous about venturing over this side. But we may not have any other choice. That thing, that sand shark there is vicious. He's attacked my pod a number of times. The Seamoth, he attacked it several times. Without mercy, and there was there seemed to be no reason for it. Now, where is life pod four? I think we just haven't gone this way far enough. Ooh. What's that? Is that it there? Have I actually found it? There's a, a Leviathan around me. I I really shouldn't be doing this. But same time. There, what's that? 
I don't want to be over here. There's too much. There's, there's too many things around here that want me for lunch. But it's there. I can see it. Okay, I'm gonna just go. I'm gonna go as quick as I can. I probably should be using a sea moth. But I'm really scared right now. I've seen that Leviathan over here. He he, he swims around here. But look, this has got to be it. This it is. This life pod four. We found it. We found it. Can I get on top? Let me on top, please. Let me on top. No, I, 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 I don't want to. I, I don't want to be here. It won't even let me in. Why can't I go in? Open data box. Open the data. Open, open the data box. How, how can I not get in? Can I jump up on top? I can't get on top, and I can't get in underneath. Uh, this is not quite what I planned for. Let me try putting that one away a minute. And then come up. I can't get into it! <laughs> uh, this is not what I was planning for. Is it? Oh, ah, right. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. We, we can get in. I got full oxygen as well. Right, take the data box there. There, creature decoy. And an abandoned PDA. Uh, is there anything else in here? Crew log PDA 4. Um, I'm very nervous at the moment because I know that there is a very, very, very nasty creature around us that is likely to want to eat me for lunch. Let's go. Let's just swim as fast as we can. I'm going to go this way. Seam off. Go to the seam off. I can feel him looking at my back and trying to decide whether he should come after me or not. And it doesn't feel pleasant. I know he... he, he, he Let's look. I gotta look. I gotta look. I gotta see where he is. He's not there. We're okay. We're gonna be okay. We are going to be okay. We're going to make it. We are going to get home. I'm, uh, that's what I'm gonna do right now. I am gonna go home, and then once I've done that, I am going to. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take a look at the information, and then we'll see about um, making our new toys that we want to make. Welcome aboard, Captain. I remember I said there was this bit of wreck here that I was looking at? Uh, I'm just taking another look at it. It says if we repair that one, we might be able to get in. So if I do that and I repair this one here, I may be able to get in. That roaring, I believe... Oh, hang on. Uh, exchange power source. Let's just do that a minute. Dead batteries there. It's the last battery. Repair. Perfect. And now I can open the door. Right, let's go inside. What do we got to scan? Oh, there's something to scan. That's a grav trap. That's no good to us. Let's take another look around. Uh, is there anything else apart from... Oh, uh, sea glide. I don't think there's, gonna, there's another grav trap fragment there. I don't think there's going to be anything of use for us in here. Not really. Now, what's that? It may not be useful, but whatever that is, is um, sounding rather scary. Sounding very scary, actually. Right, what is in this room? There's a... There's a door there. Um, doesn't seem to be anything in this room. Oh, there. Uh, that's another sea glide fragment. And there's nothing else. Right, okay, so there really is nothing in this wreck that is any good to us. We just want to try and find our way out. I'm pretty sure that is just a stalker that is busy roaring, and it's not anything to worry about, is it? I think it is. Yeah! Okay. It's, it's, it's just a stalker. Stalkers are okay. Stalkers are okay. We don't need to worry about the stalker. We can just ignore him. He's fairly harmless. He will hurt us a little bit, but generally speaking, he's fairly harmless. We don't need to worry about it. It's just that when you climb out of a small hole and that thing is right there, it does tend to make you a little bit twitchy. And we're home. Safe. Ish. We're still infected with some horrible alien disease, but... Welcome aboard, Captain. We're reasonably safe. I heard some knocking, I think. I hope I didn't. Uh, right. So anyway, yes, we are we are reasonably safe. We're reasonably safe. We, we, it could be a lot worse. Let me just sort out some batteries. Right, no, before we do that, let's take a look at this new information that we have found. So we've got uh, Aurora Survivors, Crew Log 4. To any Altera crew, 
landed in area of significant alien activity. Encountered predators in the Leviathan class, highly aggressive. Spectroscope scanner assigned species designator, Reaper. One specimen attempted to swallow the life pod, doing extensive damage in the process. Only viable option is to make for the safety of the Aurora crash site. I have retrieved a data box with the creature decoy and enough resources to fabricate a couple of them. The swim's longer than the decoy lifetime, but it should just be enough to keep them busy. If you don't find me on board the ship, presume I miscalculated. Ooh. That doesn't sound like a good way to go, to be honest. Uh, right, creature decoy. This advanced deployable is a catch-all solution for mimicking the behavior of a living creature for purposes of scientific research or predator evasion. Vibrates, cycles, air and water, and sends out randomized high-frequency sound waves to emulate a living organism. May be hand-placed or launched from compatible Cyclops submarines. Short on-board battery provides limited lifespan. Attracts predators of all kinds. That might actually be rather useful. That might be very, very useful indeed. Let's take a look. Where is it? There we go. Creature decoy requires a wiring kit and three titanium. That is one that we will hopefully be able to be using. Right, there is the creature decoy. Now, if we go to resources, electronics, we've got... Oh, we can do some copper wire. Um, I could make a bit of water. I'll actually do that in a minute. Do a couple of those. Um, now, what we want to do now is we want to start building our wonderful new toy. Now, we don't want to make air. Ooh, we might actually need aerogel. Uh, I can do another titanium ingot, and then I want plasteel, I think, for the cyclops. So there's the titanium ingot. Plasteel requires uh, two lithiums as well. Oh, one titanium ingot. Let's take a look and see what we're going to need in our blueprints. So, the first one that I want to do, we got the prawn suit there. I need aerogel times two, which means I need to get down deep and I need to be able to find some other stuff. Modification station, uh, Cyclops depth module, I need that one. I need to find that one. I don't have it at the moment. No, the other one, uh, Pathfinder, I'm not worried about that. Uh, no, 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 no. None of these, well, we've got the Cyclops there. Enameled glass, plasteel ingot times three. I'm going to need some stalker teeth to be able to build this thing. Uh, but no, no, this is the one that I want at the moment. I got titanium ingot times two, which I've got. I want lubricant and I want lead. I'm pretty sure I've got... There's one lubricant and there is one lead. Is it one lead or two? One lead or two. Uh, two lead. Let's go into there. I can hear something bashing. Something's tapping on the side. Is there something tapping on me, or are they tapping on the side of the base? What are you doing? There. Oh, it's, it's one of those. He keeps attacking it. I've also got... No, it's not you. That there I haven't scanned. I thought I'd already scanned that. It's a Gary fish. I, oh yeah, I did scan it. I, I could have sworn I scanned a Gary fish already. Well, let's see if I can scan it. Uh, apparently he doesn't want to be scanned. Right, uh, there is a small blood-sucking parasite type thing here somewhere. What's that? He's doing some damage to it. Yeah, this is one. There we go. Nope. Don't do that. Get you. You right there. That's what I want. I want this one, and... Smack him against the side of the thingy there. Has that um, persuaded him to leave my Seamoth alone? It has persuaded him to leave the Seamoth alone, but it's also <laughs> punching a hole in my um, habitat. That's not the way to go. Let's, let's, uh, let's hang on. Um, repair tool. I'll go here. Repair you a minute there to 100%. Now, I, I'm going to go indoors and do this. I've never done this before. Whoa! Okay, that wasn't part of the map. Don't throw things on your base. Lesson to be learned here. Don't throw things against the side of the base. Um, it, it doesn't do it a lot of good. Power. Is that fixed? Oh, there's another one over here. There we go. Hull integrity restored. Draining systems initiated. What have I done to my um, swimming pool? Is it going to drain it out? Oh, there we go. <laughs> right, 
Lesson learned. Do not launch things with the propulsion cannon at the side of your habitat. Bad things happen. We do not want to do that. We do not want bad things to happen like that. That is, the, 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 yeah, the le lesson, the valuable lesson to be learned there. But I need some fluid intake. I'm going to eat some bulbo trees. Plant some bulbo trees in the front there. I've restored all of my um, health back up and my water back up. Let's just very quickly do the battery changes over here. Um, yeah, we've got zero charge on several of these batteries. I think I've got zero charge on most of them. Take that one there and... Nope, not you. You're 100%. 100, 100, 100, 2... Two and two. Right, okay, so we're doing just fine on there. Um, moon pool. I want to build a moon pool. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to build the moon pool, though. If I go and I look onto the habitat builder, I guess I'd sort of, I guess I'd build it out here. I'm not quite sure how you go about building it. Um, right, uh, vehicle docking bay with high energy and structural requirements. Okay, it's, it's quite big. It's definitely quite big. We don't want to be building it out this side. Uh, can I build it underneath? Well, I don't want to do that. So building it off to the side seems like a more sense. Maybe if I built it off to the side there. Nope. It doesn't want me to build it to the side there. I can build it out here. Well, where's the best place to put it? Can I rotate it round? I can put it out there, out the end of this one. What about over here? Right. Nope. Oh, I see. It's, it's too close to the platform down there. But I can. I can build it all the way over here. Let's, let's come up like this, and then we can sort of look down, and we can see where we want to put it. I would guess we want to put it out this side, because I can build a doorway out that side there. I mean, I could build it all the way over here. If I built it there. Right there, look. Um, I don't want to go, I don't want to go down there. It's going to be too far away from the base. And I reckon if I built it out there. Right there, look. I'll build that one there. Let it build up completely. There, minus 5 total, now 1.5. And I need to be able to do a door. I built it in the wrong place. Right, deconstruct that one a minute. I'll pull that one out completely. I know what I need to do. I want to go onto here. Right, so I've got a ladder there, but I can always walk, I can walk around that ladder, so that's not a problem. So I want to go there, an eye compartment. Um, basic tubular. I could do I can't build a glass one. Okay. Um, I haven't gone stir crazy just yet, so I don't think I have. Um, so we're not going to worry about that too much. Let's just go into the locker in here. And I want to get a couple of titanium. I don't have any glass, I don't think. Pretty sure I used up the glass on that little experimental thing that I was doing. Cyclops engine efficiency module. I won't worry about that for a minute. Um, so if I come out here, I think I've got to build the tubes outside. So I exit the base. And I'll come out over this side and we'll take a... Uh, one of these. Exchange power source. Nope. Ah, exchange power source. There we go. Right. Now, I want to go and... I could go for the eye tube. That one there needs glass times two. So we'll, have, we'll just build that one for now and we'll put it on there. And then I want to rotate that round and I want to put it onto there. So that will come onto the end. An extra compartment. And then out on the end of here, this is where I want to put my new moon pool. So this is the plan. So I go to there, and then I go to moon pool, the vehicle docking. How does this work? Um, does it go there? What does that do? Put that one there like that. And it's joined in. Right, ideal! We've got it! There is our vehicle docking. So the vehicle... Comes up in underneath, in here. Welcome aboard, Captain. Brilliant. Right, so let's go back over here. We've got our moon pool over there. Let's just take a look. That sticks out an awful long way. Can we... How do you see what the current hull integrity is? 
Uh, I, know, I know lead does help a lot with the whole integrity. Uh, we go into the base a minute. There was, there's another thing that I want to build. We're going to need to strengthen the hull a minute. I want to go to there. It's reinforcements. I need lithium and three titaniums. I got titaniums on me. Go there. And I want lithiums as well. So we go into the locker. I got three titaniums. I'm going to do one, two, three. And then I want two lithium like that. So I've got some... I got plenty of whole reinforcements that I can use. Can I put it onto there? Is that a, a reinforcement piece that I can use? No. I cannot put it on there. Can I put it on any of the... Oh, I can put it on there. Right, so... No, apparently I can't put it on there. It doesn't seem to like that. What about if I bring it over here? That one was fine. There I can put it on. So we can put it onto the sides of the circular tube compartments. Plus 7 to hull strength. It's now 7.5. And I... Oh, I cannot put another one on. That is it for there. What about in this way? Can I put any in here? None there. Nope, 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 nope. It's just a great big fat nope here at the moment. Uh, what about that one there? So No, I can't put it in there either. You can't put it on the glass tubes. They're no good. Do I just go... I cannot... Uh, Okay, the, the, the ladder may be a bit of a problem. Um, I can't put it onto there either. This doesn't have the whole integrity thing. So let's let's get rid of you. Let's get this uh, there. Right, let's get, let's get rid of you a minute. If I climb up here, I could possibly... Oh, I see. Right, you can put it on... Can, can I put it on the corners? Might be able to. I'm not going to worry about that a minute. What I am going to do is I'm going to remove this one. There. Uh, deconstruct the ladder. Right. If we deconstruct the ladder first, and I will now put it on this side. So I go to there, and then I go to interior, and I'll go to a ladder, and I'll put the ladder up there so that I can get through this one over here. And that one there, we can go up like that. We've got our bed over there, and we've got the bioreactor over here. The moon pool requires a lot of power. Bioreactor, though, I think is doing okay. Still got one item in there. Right. Let's go down the ladder. And then we can come over to here. And then the next bit that I want to do is I want to put a bit of whole integrity strength onto the side of the wall here, which will go there. So I can put a reinforcement on that side. And then I'll be able to put another one on the other side when I want to. I don't actually want to right now. Because I don't have the materials for it. And I'll be able to put a window in here later on. Right. Next up. I want to be able to put in here the uh, the upgrade thing. Um, open here. So how do, I, how do I do the upgrade thing? I can climb the ladder and I can get in and out. Alright, let's go. Now we will go over to our Seamoth. We grab that one. And we'll bring it back, and we will put it inside our brand new moon pool. Look at this. Now, how do you how do you bring it in? Bring it in. Space bar should bring it up. Up oh, there we go. Ideal. Oh, that is fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. Let's take a look. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. We have our very own moon pool. I am very pleased with this. I am very, very pleased with this. So the next thing I want is to be able to do the upgrades. Um, how do I, how do, how do I do that? That's, that's, that's going. That's the tricky bit. I need to be able to do the, to build the upgrades. Um, hmm. It's an upgrade station, is it? I, I, I don't know how it works. I really don't. I can go up to right. I can go to there, and then I can access upgrades. Right. But how do I build the upgrades? Two weeks without human... Yeah, okay. We got we got that. Um, blueprints, data, indigenous life forms, flora, exploitable. That is the sulfur plant. Yeah, well, we already got that. Sulfur has applications in construction of the repair tool. It doesn't seem to have any other um, applications. So, blueprints. Habitat installations. Now, moon pool there. Pressurized pool, which provide a stand equipment for raising and recharging vehicle when outfitted with a vehicle modification station. 
The moon pool can be used to build and equip vehicle upgrades. Vehicle modification station. Uh, I've got a modification, but it, I don't think it's the, the one that I want. I, well, I don't think it is. Right, let's, let's go up. Climb ladder. Right. So, what I've... Why have I still got the water thing going on. I'm not quite sure. Right, that... Oh, that's just an ordinary modification station. Cyclops upgrades. Cyclops depth module. Propulsion cannon, fin upgrades, air tank upgrades, survival knife upgrades. So, no, it's none of that. Uh, if I go out this way... I need a... I'm pretty sure this is a blueprint that I don't yet have. Scanner room, moon pool, observatory, reinforcement window, hatch, L-glass, uh, none of those. Exterior modules, base attached, floodlights, exterior grow beds, no, it's none of those. Interior pieces, bioreactor, nuclear reactor, alien containment, bulkhead, provides structural support and prevents flooding. I haven't built a bu uh, bulkhead yet. I've, be I've been building the other ones, haven't I? I've been building those. Reinforcement. Whereas that one provides structural support. Let's try building a bulkhead somewhere. Interior modules. Uh, power cell, battery, modification station. But it doesn't say vehicle modification station. I think that's a separate one. Miscellaneous. Coffee, vending. No, I don't think it's any of these. Those are just extras. Right then. We've got an extra piece that we got to go and find. That's going to slow us down. Hmm. Um, but I also, what I also wanted to find was uh, rubies. I need to be able to get rubies, so I still don't have the depth that I need in order to be able to do the rest of it. Uh, but the Cyclops itself, because I need, the, the rubies are for the, the prawn suit. Take a look. Just looking down through. Um, no, there's none of those. Alien containment. Moon pool. Yeah, base room's there. I've got the multi-purpose room. Um, moon pool. Cyclops engine. i got the Cyclops. Scanner room. Speed upgrade. Scanner room. No, that's all. That's just scanner room stuff. Cyclops depth. Module mark two. Neptune launch platform. No, it's... A, so I got the mo... Oh. I have a mo... Wait a minute. Mobile vehicle bay. So I put that one in... Oh... Right. Yeah, I know. You're probably all staring at the screen right now and thinking of... Oh, say, Frith. Ha Frith, can you please explain something to us? How do you cope with the complexities of getting dressed in the mornings? And quite frankly, folks, if I'm to be honest, I, I, I don't actually know. Um, right. Climb. Pack up mobile vehicle bay. There we go. Right. So I've got the mobile vehicle bay. So then if I come down here and I can go inside my little base over here... Um, Oh, no, 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 no. There was one other thing I wanted to do. I want to go in this way. This is the direction that I want to go. Because the bulkhead. I want to do the bulkhead. Uh, I'm going to go to that one. And then I want to go... It's, it's in here, the interior piece. All right, titanium times three and silicon rubber. I'm pretty sure I got rubber here somewhere. Yeah, I got one now. One of those. And then I want one, two, three of those. And then... Where do I put a bulkhead? I, can, I think I can put a bulkhead here. I'd actually think that the best place to put a bulkhead would actually be right in front of these. Um, if, if, if this is what I think it is. Uh, bulkhead. Yes, it is what I think it is. Because that goes in there and then it stops like uh, nasty things from coming in. So I'm going to put that one in there. Ideal. Right. Plus three. Total strength is now 17.5. We're, we're pretty good for uh, base strength now. Get rid of that. And then... Open. It's a bit of a time consuming. Oh, I can just leave it open. Oh, all right. Now, where do I put the mobile vehicle thingy? Um, if I go to this one right here, I've got. I packed it up. Oh, it's there. Um, quick bind. I'll put that one on there. And now. I go like that. How do, how, how do I put this? says the mobile vehicle... That I'm, I'm going to just double check on this one. Fabricates vehicles from raw materials. Okay, let we go to the databank. Moon pool. 
when outfitted with a vehicle modification station. Not, not a mobile one, though. No. Okay, so, yeah, now I'm really struggling to get dressed in the mornings, apparently. Modification station, when outfitted with a vehicle modification station. The one that I've got is a mobile vehicle bay. It's entirely different. It's not the same thing at all. Frithgar is an idiot. Frithgar is an absolute buffoon. Yeah, yeah, we know. We know. All right, let's put... Let's, I'm going to put this one back up here. Um, sort of. There we go. Can I, can I stay above the surface just for a minute? There we go. I just want to float on the top. And I want to put that one down. Like that. There we go. Right. I've nailed that bit. There, climb. Now get on board and we'll take a look at the vehicle bay. What am I able to make? I got new vehicles there. I got Cyclops. So the prawn suit is the aerogel, which I don't have yet. This one, lead, easy. Plasteel ingot times three, easy enough. Enamel glass, I need to get some teeth, lubricant, and advanced wiring kit. So we'll go and make all of that stuff. Um, the lead I've got, the plas... Yeah, so we're going to go and make a few things. Come out of there. Just go onto here and into there. And then I want to put the thermo blade on that one. Um, yeah, it was the, the plasteel is... Plasteel ingots, titanium and lithium. So I need a load of... I got titanium. That's not a problem. Right, come on. Let's go. Let's go back home a minute. I'm going to go in here. Um, what I want to find is... The titanium is easy. I can do the titanium. Uh, we might actually have that already. I don't think i got enough, though. Let me take all of the titanium in there a second. And then we'll take some titanium from in here. Which I don't have. Uh, we'll take some from in here. I've got some, but not enough. We take all of it. Every bit that I got. That is my titanium. I have exhausted my supply. And then I go over to here, and we will make the titanium ingot. Right there. Don't think I got enough to make another one. Don't think I do. Let's just... No, I don't. I got six. So I'm going to need a few more titaniums before I can do that. So we will put those six back. Like that. And I'll put those two. And I'll put that one. I'm going to put them all back. Just like that. Uh, right. It's the wiring kit. I want the advanced wiring kit. And in order to do that one, I need a basic wiring kit. It's not in there. It's in electronics. We want the... Right. So there I need two silver ore. Let's first get the two silver ores. I'm pretty sure I got them. There's one. And then we can go into this one, and there should be... There's another one. So we've got the two silver ore for the wiring kit. Let's make that one. And then once we've done the wiring kit in there, we then need to make the advanced wiring kit, which is that one. I need two gold. I need a computer chip. This one, I need copper wire, gold, table, coral. I don't think I've got table coral. Pretty sure that is something I don't know. I don't have it. Right. Table coral is easy to get. We can jump out here, and we can go and get it. It's night time at the moment. I don't actually mind if it's night time. We can, we can work around that. Table coral. Is that it? Yep, that's it. See? Really, really easy. It, it, this is it, a dead cinch. Uh, we get that one. One, two, three, and four. Nope. There. Uh, five. Let me just pick some of these up. There was... That's five. I want one more. There. Right. I've got six table coral. I think I've got the rest of the materials that I'm going to need to do this bit. Go through here. Let's get rid of that one. Um, I needed gold and I needed copper. I think it was two copper and it was one gold, I think, to do this. And that is that will allow us to make the the next one. Uh, the, the, the computer chip. Uh, co uh, copper wire. Right. Make a copper wire. And then that will use the table coral to make the computer chip, like that. And then we can look in here, and I now need two more pieces of gold. Which I've got loads of here. I'll put the table coral away for a minute, because we're not going to use that. And then we can go back into here, and then we can make the electronic... We can make the advanced wiring kit. So that's the first bit done. We've done the advanced wiring kit. Ideal. Easy. Next up, when the... Uh, right, plasteel ingots. I need titanium. I need lots and lots of titanium. Because we need three plasteel ingots for this. Neptune. Cyclops there. Yeah, I need three plasteel ingots. So I need a load of titanium. 
that's actually fairly easy to get. All we need to do is we need to come over to here and I want to go to Metal Salvage. And then I can go out. I also just I just want to go into the locker a minute and I'm going to drink some water. Consume and consume. I'm going to leave those two behind. I'm going to leave that one behind. Uh, I'll leave... What have I got? I'll leave that one behind. I've got some cave sulfur there and I've got some bleach. I'm, I'm going to leave a lot of these things behind so that I've got plenty of space. Uh, the bleach can stay, that can stay, two cave sulfurs and a... I'll take one charged battery with me, the rest we will keep. Um, go into here, i got that uh, dead battery to go in there. Right, that's lots of space, so now I can go and I can go and get the metal salvage that we've got going around out here. Right, where is it? Metal salvage, there's a piece. There should be lots of them starting to show up. So if we go and whiz through, we are actually running out of time. I'm, I'm very, very rapidly running out of time. But each of these metal salvages is four pieces of titanium. Um, I need another 20 titanium, don't I know? How, how many is it? Oh. Thought I heard something nasty. We'll just very quickly check in here. Plasteel is one titanium ingot. So I just need, uh, basically I need about 20 titanium. Um... Each of these is four, so that's uh, 12 that I've got. That's quite easy. I told you this was easy. The only difficult bit is going to be getting a stalker tooth. And we've got one stalker tooth. Let me grab that one there and that one as well. And then I got some more over here. These stalkers, they go, they go and uh, they, they pick it up for you. Um, get that one. Right, I think it's actually enough. Let me, let me look there. Oops, it's going to eat me in a minute. No, I'm, I'm, I can't fit any more in anyway. So we will go running back over here and we will turn all of this into actual titanium. We have a slight problem. My power is suddenly almost completely dead. Uh, this is a very, very serious problem. Let me just grab some lantern fruits a minute. Oh, my, how's my inventory? Oh, it's because they take up a lot of space, don't they? Uh, power one. Well, I know what I can do. I'm not going to have enough power to do that. I need to go out here and I need to get a couple of these. i got room for two. Take one, two. And go back into the base a minute. And then we'll run all the way through here. Over to there. Climb up and look at you. Yeah, you're inactive. That's the problem. Let me drop those two in there. I don't know how long they will last for. Uh, but it, it should just be enough that I can then empty out the stuff that I got. I can turn this one off. We've got enough salvage. That's going to stop using some of the power. That's a, that's a good way forward. It's the moon pool. The moon pool uses a lot of power. Uh, if I go there, let me finish making, let me finish doing this. This does use a bit of power using this one up, but it's, it's not too bad. Um, let me grab that one and then one more. I think this is it. I think this is all of it. And then we've also got all, nope, another one. And that's going to be all of the titanium that we need. So I want two of these. These actually take a while. And then once I've done these two, that makes three of the titanium ingots. And then I can start worrying about the next stuff. Um, I need lithium to go with that. Uh, let me just put that over into there. Yeah, two more titanium ingots. That gets, Oh, I got two in there. I got another one in a different one. I dropped some. Uh, that, that's now full. Uh, creature egg. Great big creature egg. I take that one, and I'm going to take... I don't know what that one is. I'm going to take it anyway. Um, then I can leave some titanium behind. And I'm going to go and put the creature eggs into the bioreactor, just because I can. Uh, go to that one. I'll take two of them. The bioreactor is starting to... See, this is the problem with the bioreactor, is it, you've got to constantly refill it. I might eat one of those. I can put that one in. I think. Yes, I can. I can put creature eggs in the bioreactor. They bioreact just about anything, so I'll have to eat that one. Um, but, no, the, the gel sacks, I don't know how long gel sacks last. Somebody did say somewhere that gel sacks are one of the best things you can have for your bioreactor. Absolute best things that you can have. Now, we've got the... I, I, I want to just make these a minute. It's the last thing I'm going to make today, and then we're going to go... Uh, Take a bit of lithium there. I think I need two lithium for each one, don't I? One, two, three, four, five. 
And I've got six there, so I'll take that titanium ingot. And then I can go to there, and I go to that one, basic materials. Uh, yes, it was two. So we can turn that titanium ingot into plaz steel. And then we can make three plaz steels, and this is for our cyclops. So there's 30 titanium in this altogether. Plus we've got the advanced wiring kit. Uh, we need the enamel glass. That's the next thing. Uh, let's just double check what we need for enamel glass. I don't think it's too bad though. We've got glass there. Enamel glass is ordinary glass. That's two quarts. So I need two quarts and one stalker tooth per piece of glass. And that is going to take... How many are we going to need? Blueprints. Uh... Cyclops there. I need three. So I need two more stalker teeth and then we need a bit of the other stuff So I've got the advanced wiring kit. I got the lead. I got the lubricant I just need stalker teeth and we'll be doing that next time So if you enjoyed this episode, then please hit down below and give us a like and if you really enjoyed it Then please tell your friends all about me get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome But until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later